What is up, y'all? Double Doubles back for a super massive update. Pretty sure this is going to be the biggest update I've ever done for my channel. Got the Voodoo Ranger popped open, and uh, I suggest you do the same. Can strap in. This is going to be a while. I'm going to try to fly through it as fast as I can, guys. September has by far been the, fat, the biggest month I have ever encountered in my horror collecting days. Just come across... I just came across too many crazy deals that I couldn't pass up, so let's get right into it. Alright, local flea market pickups. Got these a couple days back. Um, recently on the 22 Shots of Horror, it's debated whether it's horror or not. Southern Comfort. It's Backwoods Terror. Whether it's horror or not, it's a fantastic film directed by the man Walter Hill, of course, from... Um, the Warriors fame and countless others. Um, amazing Rock Cooter soundtrack. Amazing performances from uh, Powers Booth. Of course, you got Keith Carradine in this. Really good shit. I'm a sucker for that kind of backwoods stuff. Being a southerner myself. Uh, arachnid for a dollar at the flea market. Um, by far, my biggest fear is spiders so I kind of popped on this one I you know I want to check it out it looks like some kind of looks like a cheesy fun time in all seriousness though I got the Twin Peaks second movie uh, this is snapper case but I'm pretty sure it's probably the probably the only edition of this out right now and this is the uh, like I said the second Twin Peaks film I need to pick up the first one all right let's keep it going maybe another non-horror I believe this is more sci-fi, but from the man Aronofsky, uh, director of Black Swan and the New Mother. This is Pi, dollar at the pawn shop. All right, basically I went pawn shop crazy, and uh, local DVD store in Sevierville went ape shit on that shit, man. Like, <laughs> just crazy deals. They had a dollar DVD blowout. She's got a warehouse full of shit. So... So many dollar DVDs, it's not funny. Starting out with a really good one that I have seen, and that is Green Room. Another one that you probably debate whether it's horror or not, but uh, just a fantastic film, though. I have to suggest that one all the way. Uh, Patrick Stewart is the man. I uh, got a Fangoria Fright, House release, Fright Fest release of Dark House. There again, for a dollar. Got some Midnight Movies. You know how I love collecting these if you've watched my channel. Raymond Lawn stars in The Man with the X-Ray Eyes. I've actually not seen that one. Nor have I seen this Midnight Movies 2-pack yet. That is Invasion of the Star Creatures and Invasion of the Bee Girls. Uh, looks like just good old, cool, old school science fiction stuff right here, guys. You know, I'm down for that. For a dollar, we got the Butcher Boys. Hell yeah, I don't really know anything about this one, but I've actually been interested to check that out for a while. Uh, the creator of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I'm guessing, uh, Kim Hinkle. So yeah, the writer of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Any of these I don't comment on, just let me know what you think, because a lot of these I have not got around to see, because like I said, this has been a massive ass update, so... Uh, that is a, well, I'll just go ahead and show this anyway. Spaghetti Western uh, Bible of Video Asia. I really got this because a blind man really interested me. Um, they compared it to a Zatucci or a Zatachi top movie, which if you've not watched those movies, I highly suggest. Blind Swordsman, fantastic Japanese cinema right there. So it's basically a Spaghetti Western in that kind of vein. It has uh, actually has Ringo Starr in it. So uh, well, I'll go ahead and... Fuck it, I'll read through it. The Blind Man, The Beast, Massacre Time, Bounty Killer. They call him Graveyard. Uh, yeah, Massacre Time's got Franco Nero. And The Beast has Klaus Kinski, Rabid Gunslinger. Uh, Price of Power, One Dollar Too Many, Apocalypse Joe. Uh, Minnesota Clay starring Cameron Mitchell. And Seven Dollars on the Red. So, like I said, give me any thoughts on this. I had to pick this up for a dollar. That the DVD case is beat up, but I will definitely fix that. I got fresh cases. This is actually a Toho horror, a more newer one, uh, Phantasma, and it has two 
uh, mini movies in it. I guess it's kind of like a mini anthology kind of thing. Bait, which I've heard compared to a mist with sharks. So that, that always sounded interesting to me. You know, definitely hit or miss with these shark movies. Not a huge fan of the subgenre what I've seen, but there are some solid ones. And I do want to check that one out. We got Murder Set Pieces, released by Lionsgate. Uh, I seem to hear really mixed things on this one. Um, for a dollar, though, I couldn't pass it up. I'm going to make my own opinion on these guys. Same with this one, uh, Goth. I've actually not heard anything about. But this is a brain damage. Yeah, brain damage release of Goth. So, you know, it's going to be some low budget. But every once in a while, they'll have a hidden gem in there. So... Now this one I have heard good things about, produced by the man Wes Craven, The Breed. Uh, so it's a cool killer dog film. Really stoked to check that one out. Um, an artisan release, director's cut of The Item. Now, don't really know anything about this one, but the artisan stuff is usually out of print, so I'm going to pop on that shit. Uh, the Dead 2 recently, reviews, recently reviewed The Dead Part 1 on the body bag, so... Definitely want to check this out. Same directors who did the first one, the Ford Brothers, so should be pretty cool shit. And still going. Um, these are all DVDs I got at this uh, Dollar DVD warehouse place. Uh, Kim's Dollar DVD, if you're ever in Severe, will hit them up. The Crimson Peak, uh, also reviewed on the body bags uh, in the past. I'm a fan of it, and if you know my channel, I'm a big fan of Guillermo del Toro. Lights Out, produced by James Wan. Uh, pretty fun little ghostly, in my opinion. I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a good time. You know, good jump scare stuff. Some of the CGI, in the, especially like the, the alternate ending was pretty shoddy, but I give him a pass because, you know, the alternate ending might not be complete. But uh, fun little flick. I, I enjoyed Lights Out. And definitely check out the uh, short that's on YouTube that inspired that. Good stuff. We got uh, Masters of Horror, Dream Cruise. I'm trying to collect all the Masters of Horror. I believe this is season two. Um, J Horror, so definitely up my alley. Even though it got a super shitty review from the uh, homies at 22 Shots. Got a two pack Lionsgate Fright Flicks. This is the St. Francisville Experiment and Cut. There again, I don't know shit about these guys, but. A dollar a piece, and I actually got them less than that because she hooked me up with the final deal on these. I mean, <laughs> I really made a killing. I ended up getting like over 40 movies for like 36 bucks or something, and even a Blu-ray thrown in there. So, really good shit. Uh, I've got some of these other Lionsgate packs. There again, the case needs to be replaced. But you have Dracula, the Dark Prince, Frost, Premonition, and Hell's Gate. Uh, don't know anything about those either, guys. Let me know what you think. Um, recently started trying to pick up all the After Dark Originals. And this is 51. So, and then also got the Task. I always thought that cover was cool. It's kind of what sold me on that one. Um, for a dollar a piece, as I said, I'll let you know when it's a different price. Uh, Shark Knot. There again for the dollar DVD joint. Uh, I heard mixed things on this one, but I want to check it out. I believe there, there's also a Shark Knot 3D uh, Blu-ray release. The Wig. Pick this one up. Uh, yeah, who released this? Unrated Cut. CJ Entertainment. Um, basically, I believe it's a Korean horror, though. So, that's what really sold me on that one. Uh, some more Dimension Extremes. I'm coming pretty close on getting that whole Dimension Extreme in line. This is Dead in Three Days. Huge Hammer fan myself, so definitely want to check this one out. Twins of Evil. And of course, Synapse release. So you know it's probably beautiful. Alright. So I also got some Oldies order and a Hamilton order. Go ahead and keep it popping, guys. This is the oldies order. Mm, nope, that's not. Sorry, guys. I will save it for later. 
Now these are all these. They had some redemption films on the cheap on there. Rape of the Vampire. Um, as you can say, Gene Rollins. So really stoked to check that one out. I'm a, I'm a big fan of his stuff from what I've seen. This was Anchor. This was uh, Mill Creek. I'm sorry. So low expectations, but there again, it's Hammer Horror. Big eight pack multi collection. You got Revenge of Frankenstein, which is a good film. I have seen that. The Snorkel. Never Take Candy from a Stranger, Maniac, Die Die My Darling, and Creatures the World Forgot. So hell yeah, um, a lot of those I haven't seen any individual releases that might be one of the few places you can get it. So, got the Hammer Horrors. Fender Bender, I did watch this one, I thought it, I thought it was a pretty fun uh, modern slasher. Um, you know, didn't blow my mind, but I thought it was a pretty good shit there. Of course, Screen Factor release. I, I dug that alternate work, artwork. Uh, the Deadly Bees. First time on DVD. This is uh, Legend Films release. Recently got a Blu-ray. Um, but yeah, I've been wanting to check that one out for a while. Heard good things. Oh yeah, you know I love my something weird. And got the double feature in the Orgy of Terror. Not of the Bloody Apes. Which I'm pretty sure is a... Um, Video Nasty, and then you got Feast, Feast of Flesh. So, just old school cheesy shit right there. Had to pop on those. Alright, another one I got the Synapse DVD of Effects. Uh, also, just got recently re released by the uh, AFCA line, AGFA. Um, but this, of course, the Synapse original DVD. Um, I thought it was a fun time, honestly. Um, really interesting original plot, kind of making of a movie kind of thing. Got Tom Savini, of course, so of course it's got excellent gore on it. Um, yeah, effects. Pretty solid little flick. Oh, this was a super cheesy-ass movie, but I, I actually had a fun time with it. This is Bruno Mattei's, one of Bruno Mattei's more, uh, or Mata. This one... Uh, one of his more recent titles. And this is uh, Island of the Living Dead. Much in the vein of like a Hell of the Living Dead or something like that. But set in the modern day. Um, some of the makeup and stuff on these zombies are pretty shitty. But there's some really good gore in there. Uh, really really cool atmosphere actually in that one. I, I thought I had a fun time with that. Inner Vision. The dubbing just made it hilarious. Uh... I'll throw this one in here. It's not a horror at all, but it is a trauma release of When Nature Calls. I'm pretty sure this one's kind of been out of print a while. The man who directed Mother's Day, Charles Kaufman. Um, this is definitely one of your more parody movies. I guess more like an airplane style, naked gun style, um, but not as funny. It wasn't that great. The fake trailers in the beginning fucking cracked me up, though. Uh, there's like a Raging Bull uh, parody with uh, Martin Snore Easy. <laughs> there was, uh, you just gotta check it out. There's some cool parody. Uh, the parody trailers were really the funniest part to me in that one. So I got me another VCI Scream Theater multi pack. I'm kind of trying to collect all these, to be honest. You got City of the Dead, which is also known as Horror Hotel. But I really got this for uh, Legend of the Witches. Sounds right up my alley. I love my witches and cult films and satanic films, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, definitely let me know if you guys popped that one on that one. Now, this was a trauma that does have some horror stuff. I've been wanting to check out all these. Uh, trauma Dance Film Festival Volume 1, a bunch of short films. It's got one from the man Mick Foley. Hell yeah. Uh, of course, Mankind slash Cactus Jack. You also got one uh, Klaus Kinski starring in Kill Mr. Kinski. So I guess he plays himself, kind of parodying himself. Uh, really interested to get around to these. I need to check these out. A uh, little short film festival, so it should be good stuff. And lastly, for the Aldi's order, I got a great Vine video release of Horror Rises from the Tomb. The man, Paul Nashi, and actually written by Paul Nashi. Uh, it's one I really haven't heard anything about, and I'm not sure if there's any other releases of this, so. Of course, the legend Paul Nashi. And I hit up the homie, 
uh, Paul Ragsdale, director of Cinco de Mayo, and got one of his exclusive screeners of, maybe not possibly a, a uh, horror straight up, but this is Streets of Vengeance. Um, really cool uh, revenge flick, though. Super 80s style, amazing soundtrack, super throwback style. Um, I, I like Cinco de Mayo a lot, but I was just impressed how far he's came from that film. He, the soundtrack and just his overall cinematography and shit really blew me away in this one. I like, uh, the dude's got major talent. Definitely check him out. They come with a cool exclusive pin that's going to go on my, I have a military jacket with a bunch of pins and patches on it. And come with a beautiful Polaroid of the main lead actress, so... Yeah, that was, that was cool stuff right there. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was exclusive to the uh, people who um, donated to the GoFundMe for that movie. Uh, released early 2018 if you want the official release. I'll probably uh, uh, get that because this is actually a, an exclusive cut of the movie. So I'll be interested to see what the, uh, you know, the official release is going to look like. Oh, sorry, guys. I need that. All right. Fucking huge oldies order. Huge ass. Actually, Hamilton. This is two Hamilton orders combined into one box here. Um, this is Octoman. I really got this for my girl because she's a huge fan of fucking octopuses and Cthulhu and that kind of stuff. But this looked like uh, a good fun time, so let me check that one out. I got the Exploitation Cinema Double Pack, released by Code Red, of The Forest, and Don't Go in the Woods, which, uh, excuse me, I really want to check out Don't Go in the Woods, so interested to see that one. Got the VCI Anniversary Edition of Dr. Black, Mr. Hyde, um, not the most beautiful transfer in the world, but a super fun black exploitation film. Holly suggests that one, guys. Uh, and it, it's on the cheap on Hamilton, so. Uh, also reviewed a few weeks back on the Body Bags, Animal Lotta uh, Synapse DVD release. <laughs> Holly enjoyed this one, guys. Just uh, fucking bizarre and slightly disturbing, but funny as hell at the same time. I've never had such a split feeling of just straight up comedy and laughter and disturbed out of my mind at the same time. Got the Scorpion release of Point of Terror. Love that super green case. Um, star And it stars the main uh, chick from the Ilsa films. So, uh, hell yeah. Scorpion release from 71. Let's see here. Yeah, I've been hitting up a lot of their Code Reds, even having them on the cheap. Um, and as well as their Scorpion. Got Double Exposure. Uh, don't, yeah, I don't know shit about that one, but I kind of popped on that cover. And uh, I think it's one of the Katarina's. Yeah, Nightmare Theaters as well. Uh, some more Code Reds. The Devil's Express. Some more black exploitation with some Kung Fu mixed in. Just straight up 70's Grindhouse right here, guys. So... Definitely stoked to check this one out. And it also has uh, one of the stars of I Drink Your Blood. Fantastic film, by the way. Uh, me and the homie Zach's just been recently talking about this one. Devil Times 5. Amazing killer children flick. Holly suggests this one. Uh, as I said, Code Red release. Good stuff. Another Code Red. Sybil Danning stars in Julie Darling. Uh, I think this is more of a revenge flick, but definitely in the more of that horror realm. Uh, yeah, really need to check that one out, guys. I had to hit up all those Code Reds. Now, from the man, uh, one of the another great indie director on this uh, in the communities, if you will, and that is the man Dustin Wade Mills. As the man Dustin Mills, and this is Zombie A Hole. 
Uh, I've only seen a couple of his films now, but I've been impressed so far. So really, really stoked to check that one out. That's on the cheap on... Uh, that might have been Aldi's, actually. That that was cheap on the Aldi's. I got some of the Aldi's mixed in here, guys. Uh, another non-horror, but it's a midnight movie's Blue Underground this time. Western triple feature. More spaghetti westerns. Run, Man, Run. Uh, Capanaros. And the main reason I got this, for the Apocalypse, directed by the man, Lucio Fulci. Uh, the Shriek Show movie group presents... Bloodsuckers from Outer Space. Looks like a cheesy fun time. I've heard some good things from some of the homies. Uh, looks like right in my wheelhouse. Uh, one Seven Movies released this. I've heard zero things about this one, but it was on the cheap and had to pop. That is Bloody Flesh. So yeah, let me know if you... Uh, looks like some cool old school 70s horror. I got the IFC Midnight release of Barbarian Sound Studio. Uh, recently uh, donated to the Patreons for 22 Shots of Moods. So uh, Jeremy re I reviewed this. And for the most part, I agree with him on that. Um, really fantastic. One of the better IFC Midnights that I've seen. Just good shit. And uh, if you're a music junkie or an audio guy, that is the horror film for you. Just... Amazing movie to check out in uh, surround sound. Now, I got this double feature released by Image. This is Naked Evil, and it also has Exorcism at Midnight. This looks like cool old school 70s horror. I've been really on a 70s horror kick. Just really digging the atmosphere. Oh, and I'm not looking forward to checking this one out. This is a Mutant Sorority, aka Temp Entertainment release of... Bloodletting. And the reason I'm not looking forward to this is I also picked up the release of Messiah Evil and the transfer was garbage. So I'm hoping this transfer is a little better on that one. Got a Shriek Show release of Wicked Lake. Also includes the soundtrack, which is done by the lead singer, the uh, yeah, Al Jorgensen, Jorgensen of Ministry, which I thought was interesting. Uh, but yeah, two disc cool edition of Wicked Lake. Really want to check that one out. Then you got an Owen Ray picture starring uh, John Carradine in this one. Actually, it's interesting enough, that is Evil Spawn. Don't know what to think about that one. Cheesy fun. Another Midnight Movies Blue Underground this time. Double pack. And this has Venom and Rats. Big fan of Rats. Not a terror. Really. <laughs> just a fun time of that shit. And uh, Venom I really want to check out. I'm trying to pick up all the Blue Underground I ha can, can get. Um, of course a huge fan of that label. But a lot of that shit seems to be going out of print. Now I got me some Tokyo Shock. And I got the uh, Tokyo Shock Classics release of Red Eye. Uh, don't know shit about this. Looks like it takes place on a train with some ghosties. So, I don't know. And I really popped on this one just because of the cast. And I figured it probably out of print. This is a Showtime original movie called The Keeper. And it stars Dennis Hopper and Asia Argento. So... Like I said, that cast alone, I'm like, hell yeah, I want to check this out. And the uh, Dennis Hopper playing a maniac. So, hell fucking yeah. Now, this was just a painful ass watch. Uh, I'm, I'm a fan of Massacre Video. I'm glad they throw out some independent lost gems. Shot on video shit. Um, but, Escape from, Escape from the Insane Asylum is rough to get through. You know, it... it it cuts back and forth from basically two different movies. It's unfinished. Um, it's got a lot of footage from Frozen Scream mixed in with the actual newer um, shot on video film from like late 80s, early 90s. So just really jarring to watch. And it's just tedious as fuck. 
and this is the mutant story I've been talking about, Messiah of Evil. Fantastic film, really love this. Gonna upgrade to the Code Red eventually. But uh, VHS transfer of this film just looks like shit. <laughs> but great. But a great film nonetheless. We got another redemption film. The Reincarnation of Isabel. Um, really gothic and sexually sadistic film for sure. Um, and it has touches of Nazi shit going on in this one as well. Just really bizarre, but I actually pretty much enjoyed this one. Uh, Reincarnation of Isabel. The Synapse release of Count Countess Dracula. Uh, definitely had to pick it up. It's a Synapse release on the cheap, so you know how I roll. Holly suggests this film right here, newer film. This is The Devil's Rock. Cool uh, satanic based film, and I like the whole. It's set on the end of D Day. It's got the 1940s feel. Um, there again, you got your Nazi, Nazi satanic horror. <laughs> it's surprising I have more than one Nazi satanic horror in this update. Heard good things about this one. I know the homie Zach just ordered this one as well. Code Red release of Stanley, uh, Killer Snake film. That's good dude goes around fucking up people with his Killer Snake. I'm down to check that out. And I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite ripoffs of all time. Also, recently reviewed on the Body Bags. This is Beyond the Door. Hell yeah, Code Red 2 disc uh, DVD release. Definitely check this one out. Fun as fuck, man. Uh, you know, it, it is a ripoff The Exorcist, but it kind of does its own thing. So, I give it props. Alright, guys. That's all I can do. Alright guys, back at you again. Let's finish up this update. Alright, the rest of the dollar DVD grabs. Got a Divi Max edition of Malevolence. Um, old school Anchor Bay, of course, is why I got this. Um, not sure if this is worth the shit or not, but there again, old school Anchor Bay, I'm going to pick it up. MGM Midnight Movies release. You guys know how I love these. Slowly collecting these. Slowly but surely. Ghost of the Drag Strip Hollow and Ghost in the Invisible Bikini. Really old school, uh, late 50s, early 60s. Uh, just look like fun time shit right there. And then I got a Retro Shakarama double pack, which is actually a trilogy. Nick Phillips Horror Trilogy. You got Satan's Black Wedding, Criminally Insane. And there's a bonus feature of Criminally Insane Part 2 from the 80, from 87. So yeah, super low budget cheese. Uh, keep these popping. My girl actually got me this. I've yet to get around to watching it. But it's the remake of Old Boy. Uh, she had a coupon from Big Lots. So I ended up getting this on the real cheap. So and it was cheap to begin with. So definitely check out Spock Lee's version of Old Boy. Uh, my girl also got me these two releases, which really stoked me. Um, Maribito, Tartan Asian Extreme. She knows how I love these Asian Extremes. And another Tart Tartan Asia Extreme, Memento Moir, which is part of the Whispering Corridors franchise. So hell yeah, definitely stoked to check that out. I'm going to try to watch all those in order. Alright. We got some, did a couple orders off Amazon, and I was talking about the Blue Underground. I got Bad Boy Bubby. Heard this is just pretty demented fucking movie. Really want to check it out. And, uh, yeah, Blue Underground goodness. Hit up the local Walmarts. Got a couple alternate, uh, some of these alternate covered releases. Really the main reason I got this, um, I had never seen or owned this film before. So Black Swan, of course, uh, Oronofsky. And I got another one I will show later in the update. And if you watch my, re <coughs> if you watch my recent Out and About Vlog, you saw me in Knoxville hitting up these releases. This is the I Icons of Sci-Fi Toho Collection. This is all uh, Ich Ichiro... Honda's films, of course, the director, the man behind Godzilla. You got Mothra, 
the H-Man and Battle in Outer Space. Really want to check out the H-Man and Bat Battle in Outer Space. Uh, Non-horror won't show that one. This is kind of non-horror, but in that horror realm, as I said in that Out and About, uh, directed by James Wan, Death Sentence, Kevin Bacon. I uh, heard pretty good things about this one. Got uh, the unrated version. And of course, I went to the place that I love, known as McKay's. I got the Objective, which is a blockbuster exclusive release, and also an IFC horror flick. So, uh, and it's uh, Daniel Murick, the dude behind the Blair Witch Project. So, really interested to check this one out. Not sure how rare this is or uh, how easy it is to come by, but it being a blockbuster exclusive, I thought it'd be worth popping on. I picked up the Pang Brothers release of I2, which is actually a Lionsgate release. Um, buying these in reverse order, I got to pick up the original I. I want to go through that franchise very soon. Uh, Asia Extreme release, The Booth. Uh, got all these cheap for like four and five bucks a piece. Uh, this is still sealed, uh, $6.95, and this is Tomy Un The Forbidden Fruit. Not sure what order that is in the franchise. Yeah, so I'm definitely trying to get all these Tomy films. I know my homie Derek's been collecting those. Another Asia Extreme. We got Unborn but Forgotten. Yet another one. Uh, the last one of this update. And that is Phone. Heard good things about Phone. Definitely want to check this one out. All really cheap and uh, cool releases. $1.95 still sealed. Shriek Show release of Shadow Dead Riot. The man Tony Todd. So, hell yeah. Stoked to check that out. And then, Roman Polanski, I guess this is more of a suspense thriller, psychological thriller, but is The Tenant. Always want to check this one out and finally get around to it. Alright guys, wrapping it up with a few Blu-rays, final Blu-rays of the update. This was part of that Hamilton order, Escape from Tomorrow. Really bizarre, uh, black and white film. Beautifully shot, uh, shot gorilla style inside of actually Disney World. Um, really bizarre film. I, I can't say I was a huge fan of it, but I definitely give them props for just an interesting and uh, original plot. I'm usually a sucker for these kind of amusement park carnival settings. Uh, this is quote unquote an action packed double feature the Shout Factory Blu ray double of Dirty Mary, Crazy Larry, and Race with the Devil. Got this for Race of the Devil. Really cool uh, satanic film. Highly suggest that one. Definitely check that one out. Alright. And then, as I was saying, at Walmart, I also got the other side of the door Blu-ray. Of course, these uh, contain an exclusive comic book with their alternate covers. So, hell yeah. Uh, Looked like a pretty cool little ghost film. and It's actually rated R, so that's, that's cool stuff. Maybe non-horror, but one of the few Godzillas I do not own at this time, and that is Godzilla 1984. Definitely stoked to finally have this. I'm going to work it on going through the Godzillas, switching in and out of my horrors, and love me some Godzilla. And I end with two fantastic movies I've yet to own yet. Blu-ray release. I got the pawn shop on the cheap, and that is Don't Breathe. Highly suggest that one if you haven't seen this. Uh... Just a really cool, interesting plot. Uh, maybe shades of like the collector or something like that. Really cool shit. And lastly, reviewed on the body bags. Just a fantastic film, and this will probably end up being on my top ten for the year. That is Get Out, directed by the man Jordan Pill. Actually, a big fan of Key and Pill, and I did not expect to uh, watch one of his horror movies and love it so much, but. Not you know, not the guy I would have picture as the a horror director, but fucking fantastic guys. Really good stuff. Check out Get Out if you haven't already. And that'll finally do it for the update, guys. Peace. And I thought I was done, but lastly, let's go through these. I forgot about these. Um, also, while I was Walmart getting some of these alternate covers. I end up getting the Phantasm five pack, released by Wellgo Wellgo USA. Really glad to finally go through all of these. Uh, they've been hard to come by, some of these sequels, especially 3 and 4. 
finally going through the franchise, watching uh, Phantasm 2 very soon and going through them again. I uh, just rewatched Phantasm again the other night. Just top notch shit, guys. And uh, sucks it's stacked disc, but I'm getting me a replacement case and uh, throwing them in there. And these two I got yesterday. I upgraded my copy of Zen and Tucci. Uh, really cool, just folklore horror man. Uh, it's hard to really talk about this one. Just interesting how how it plays out. Really cool, just uh, uh, interesting stuff, guys. Good stuff. Check out Zen and Tucci. Always love that cover. And then I got a cool TV horror release from Scream Factory yesterday on the cheap from Fye. That is the spell. <laughs> Yeah, glad to see him back on the TV horror movie, so, yeah, let me know your thoughts on that one, guys. Alright, guys, for real this time, peace!